put the book from my pocket. I beg, I don't kill anybody, please. Sister, for sure, if we need you again, we will call you and contact you. Ah, contact me. Me, I'm already sitting down. He asked me everything. Of course, if I'm coming back, a people will give me transport. Ah, motive, Didi. This one will look good for you. What was your disagreement about? A difference in opinion. So Reception is here, be suspect. But you be suspect now. You get motive. Me. And you expect me to believe that. You have been lying to me since the beginning of this interview. Why would I want to kill my wife? I loved her. Belongs to you, the house, the cars, the shares. After all, you're the next of kin. I mean, there is motive. And we've confirmed that he was at the Madison. What other form of evidence do we need? I didn't kill her. What's wrong with you, Seth? Why are you playing God? The family put me through hell. Each and every one of them. Abby, okay? Okay, okay, I did not hear it from you. <sighs> Will I say that and again, don't give you something in trouble? Brian, can I fool to you? Three times! Three times you have changed your story. No. Hey guys, welcome to another edition with the Consulti. Today we'll be reviewing the movie Kacha. It's a 2017 Nigerian movie starring Osi UKJ, Blossom Chukujeku, Alex Ekubo, Beverly Naya, Rofa Ifada. So, <laughs> fasten your seatbelt and if you haven't subscribed, please hit on the subscribe button and don't forget to turn up your post notifications. Today, Kacha is an amazing, phenomenal Nigerian movie. I say this because over time, it's been four years that this movie was produced and yet the movie is timeless. There are not many Nigerian investigative movies that you know actually pull it off and are successful. This catcher gave all very good vibes. The investigative plot was off the chart. It was such that you would sit down and... Can you not smoke here? Huh? Now police station is having a club. We bring him in for question. Tell us what happened on Wednesday the 27th, the day that your wife, Mrs. Abiodun Bello, was killed. And now that she is dead, everything belongs to you, the house, the cars, the shares. After all, you're the next... You'll be curious to know what will happen in the end. It was an amazing story. It was an amazing flow with amazing actors that were actually able to pull it off i don't think that very few actors let me just put it this way very few actors in nigeria will be able to pull off this catcher the way the, these particular actors did. i was really proud to say the least now this story chronicles different characters in it alex ekubo blossom chukujeku being investigated about the murder of a young lady who happened to be the wife of Alex Ekubo. You, you will see Osi UKJ who is always an excellent actor trying to find out who, yeah. which of them killed Beverly Naya and uh, why they were suspected of doing that. You, they were not cutting corners in the movie, okay? The movie started straight. Like when you start this movie, you would understand where the movie is going to. You would understand what you need from this movie and you will get what you're expecting from this movie. So there's no lot there's no cutting corners it was just straight to the point now this movie was about a young lady well to do an accountant who was brutally murdered and um, there were suspects which included Blossom Chukujeku and Alex Ekubo Alex Ekubo was the husband of 
Beverly Naya. So of course he was number one suspect, followed by Blossom Chikujeku, who was her colleague but had issues with her. Now, everyone, you know, when you're investigating uh, a murder or any crime whatsoever, you will tend to dig deep. And that was what OC UKJ did. Secrets you won't want, want anyone to know and all the stories that you would have edited. A perfect, you know, something coined out of Hollywood. Something, you know, a perfect story that you will see. Not like this story, the plot was actually unique, but it's something that you see in a proverbial Hollywood detective movie, yeah? So that was what happened there. But the thing was that why I really liked this catcher was adapting the Nigerian, you know, understanding of how a crime is supposed to be investigated. You will see scenes of the police officer sleeping with this other um, witness just to supposedly get info from her which is what happens everywhere in Nigerian police stations with the Nigerian police or you know corrupt policemen that want to use their position use their um, identity to get things or things or you know enjoy things that they would not normally enjoy it's so surprising that this movie was set in 2017 because the movie was like a 2021 movie and it was amazing to see the storyline when way he, it was supposed to go i loved the twist in the movie the way that they wanted to pin the mother on blossom chukujeku with the use of his ring the, the plot was intriguing there was a lot of intrigue and suspense and the story was perfect clear cut and to the point at the end of the day it wasn't even the two people that we suspected that you know were the people that actually killed Beverly Naya and which was wonderful for me it was an interesting movie and I encourage you to see this movie this brings me to the end of this review it's a short one yeah I'm sorry but um, you can binge watch on my playlist you'll see my, my Nigerian movie reviews my Korean movie reviews my Chinese movie reviews till I come your way next time is bye for me thank you so much for watching bye